Hey awesome people, this is Sherwin. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to unbox and review this pair of shoes. It's Nike Air Max running shoes. This pair right here is something that I bought online. It's the first time I bought online because of the COVID-19 situation. Well, I saw this ad on Facebook, Replica Shoes. Replica Shoes. And so I thought maybe I should try them. These shoes claim to be made in Vietnam and to be clear, they don't claim to be authentic. So I already know that they are just replicas. The prices? Just around 13 to 15 reals. So I decided to try them so I could show you too. I was actually torn between these two pairs. The black and blue Nike running shoes and the black and red Nike running shoes. I couldn't pick just one because I like both of them. So I decided to buy two pairs. I'm willing to spend 30 reals so you don't have to. But this happens. Earlier that. So I got the shoes right now. Unfortunately, they only delivered one pair because they told me the black and red design was not available. So I'm ending up with one box. That's okay though. So it's time to unbox. To be honest, I was afraid that this pair was not going to be the same color as in the picture, but I am wrong. They are definitely the same color as in the picture. Overall, I am very happy with the way they look. The shoes look stylish and normal. They are light as a feather but very sturdy. Now let's look at the outsole. The outsole is the bottom of the shoe. It is what touches the ground. What I am looking for an outsole is a better grip on the floor or traction. And this right here looks promising because there's much more surface area. When you're looking at an outsole, you have to remember that the more contact surface you have, the better traction you have. This definitely has more surface area. I feel like I can use this on all kinds of surfaces whether wet or dry, smooth or rough. However, with the material used here, I think it's not durable. It uses cheap rubber, I guess. To be honest, I think this pair will stay with me for less than a year? Six to eight months, maybe. In here, you have a full airbag underneath. They don't have any sort of foam cushioning under your foot. It's definitely made of plastic. So you're just literally standing on this plastic air. On top of the airbag, you see some more rubber pieces. I'm a long time user of Nike shoes. So a 15 real shoe like this will have to win me over. So I'm going to the gym and I'm gonna try these on.
thousand years later. And I am back. I think that these can actually work for some people. I mean, they work for me. They are very comfortable. Also, I got a few people asking where I got them because they really like the design. They're actually gorgeous when you wear them. They're okay for the gym. Again, just okay. I know these are running shoes and I use the treadmill every day. The grip was perfect and it gives you this bouncy feel because of the airbag. Also, I like that they really hold on to your feet. I mean, my feet really feel enclosed, secured. I think that the disadvantage is that this pair is not going to be the best for longer runs and more cardio-focused training. There's a stability, but if you like to train in a more cardio fashion, then you may want to look for a training shoe that has a more responsive model and versatile construction. Anyway, this is only 15 riyals, so why am I complaining? Last words? I don't regret my purchase. Wow. They actually serve the purpose. Hey, if you like this video, make sure that you click that subscribe button. Stay awesome. Bye.